You think there'll ever be such a thing as candy vapes? Mr. Daydream here, and welcome to another episode of Backstage Nonsense, and <laughs> boy, today is gonna be quite an interesting one. But before I get to the main item, let's talk about something that might be seen as rather unpleasant. That is, candies based on smoking. Now, it's pretty clear that kids love to imitate things that adults do, especially if it's something that they're way too young for, such as drinking beer or watching R-rated movies, stuff like that. Now, there could be a number of reasons why kids are interested in such things. I mean, there are some that just want to be treated as adults, and uh, if they do something that adults do, then uh, they can be viewed as one. Other times, it could just be because they just want to be cool, doing things that only adults can do, and they're doing something that they're doing and makes them seem more adult-like seems rather cool to them. Now obviously if they do try some of the things like a, like a sip of beer or some of these other things it's really unpleasant but you know it's one of those things you have to grow into I guess and I don't know I, I still don't like beer but you know, maybe it's because I'm not full you know. And it seems pretty clear that candy manufacturers have picked up on this so they've made candy cigarettes. They're not real cigarettes but they sure look like them. Now it's kind of hard to argue about these things because they've been around for a long time and you can still get them today, but uh, even so, uh, parents might get a bit iffy about uh, some of these things. Because it is rather unpleasant when you think about it. I mean, uh, seeing your kid trying to smoke and all that, it's like, mm. So yeah, I actually got some of these candy cigarettes to show y'all. Now at first glance, these look like real cigarette boxes, but they're not. They purposely make these things to look like the real thing, but not entirely. It's still just candy. So basically the idea is that they would have one of these things in their front pocket or their back pocket to make it seem like that they are a smoker and uh, yeah, they can be yeah, they can be tough and cool. It's like, yeah, look, I'm I'm one of the big boys now. I smoke. I like to get blazed, dude. How do they say it nowadays? Oh yeah, I like to get lit, bruh. So yeah, I've already talked about the boxes, but what about the candy itself? You yeah, know, let's see. Now the candy cigarettes aren't anything too special themselves. They're just little candy sticks. That's it. Yeah, it's just a simple sugary stick. Dextrose, cornstarch, corn syrup, tapioca. There's tapioca in this? Huh, that's... Hmm. So yeah, the idea is that they would just grab one of these things, you know, put them in the mouth, and then they'd be like... Mm. Life's nothing but a cruel joke and then we all die. Okay, I'm just kidding. I don't know what kids talk about nowadays. Eh, but I can imagine it somewhere along those lines. But how's the actual candy itself? Mmm, it's alright. There's nothing too special about it. I mean, eh, I've tasted better things. Oh, but it doesn't stop there because there's another variation of candy cigarettes. We also got bubblegum cigarettes. As a kid growing up in Denmark, I remember seeing these all the time. I mean, uh, not so much the boxes, I just remember them selling the sticks by themselves, but uh, yeah. Same thing. But yeah, it's basically the same idea. Like, have this uh, box that looks like a real box of cigarettes from a clan's, but it's not. And inside is just uh, plain simple candy. Oh, well that's interesting. They actually come in different colors. Yeah, as a kid, I just remember all the bubblegum ones being white, but uh, I've never seen the ones where they're in different colors, so I don't know. That must be a new thing. But look at that. That looks like a real cigarette from a glance. I mean, it certainly looks more like a real cigarette than uh, this thing. This thing just looks more like you took a piece of paper and you just rolled it up into a joint. This actually reminds me of an interesting story back in high school. In my webmastering class, we had a project where we had to make an emoticon. I guess you can say they're kind of like the precursors to emojis, if that makes any sense. But there was this one guy that made a intoxicated emoticon. It was basically a stone face with a cigarette in its mouth. And the other interesting thing about the project was that we were supposed to get three pictures of people doing the face. And uh, 
for the intoxicated face, the guy rolled up a piece of paper into a joint like this and then just, uh, yeah, would have it in his mouth and then just looked so stone, man. And two of his other uh, unfortunate uh, friends would do it too. And he apparently got into a huge trouble with his teacher. Like, he, along with his two other friends, got detentions. And it's like, <laughs> it's crazy, man. Yeah, that's teachers, all right. They punish you for being too creative. Oh yeah, but enough about that. Now, like I said before, the bubblegum one looks like an actual cigarette, but uh, the thing itself is actually just a wrapper. You yeah, see? Nothing more, nothing less. I don't even know how this thing tastes like. Probably tastes uh, mediocre. Hey, that one's actually pretty good. It's just the candy sticks ones that are mediocre. So you'd think that these things would be enough, but no, there's more! Now I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about these things. Chocolate cigars. Yep. It is exactly what you think it is. I guess this is also for kids who aspire to be uh, a bunch of gangsters or mobsters. Ugh. Ugh, get this thing. But again, from a glance, they look like the real thing. These candies are all about deception, aren't they? So yeah, basically what you do is you grab one of these big boys and, uh, you know, just pop it in your mouth and be like... Mash, eh? So I wonder how this one tastes. Hmm. Hey, that's not bad. Anyone ever play Conker's Bad Fur Day on the N64? Is it just me, or does that game really make you crave chocolate? Ow. Mm. But guess what? There's more! Don't worry, it's just one more item, and I promise I'll get to the featured product itself. Introducing... Licorice Pipes. Yep, so in addition to cigarettes and cigars, you got a pipe. Say you would have some kid who's, I don't know, uh, has an interesting taste for old-fashioned stuff, just be out there and be like... <laughs> Back in Denmark, I remember licorice pipes having those pink sprinkles at the tip of it. I don't know if it's to add to the flavor or it's to give nearsighted adults the visual cue that, yes, this isn't the real thing. It's just a candy, you old geezer. Now, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of licorice. I usually only like it when it's combined with something else. Like, uh, there's this Haribo candy called uh, Black Bananas, which is where one half is licorice and the other half is banana flavored. It's really good. But enough about that. Let's get to the featured product. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you candy tobacco. Yes, this is a real thing. Now one thing I have to make clear is that this is a Danish product, uh, so it's not something you can get in the U.S. I mean, can you imagine if they actually sold this in America? Parents would go absolutely nuts, I think. I mean, if they're okay with candy, cigarettes, chocolate cigars, and licorice pipes, uh, do you think they might uh, accept something like this? I really don't know. So yeah, I know, this whole thing sounds outrageous, but yeah, it exists. I swear, Denmark can get quite hardcore sometimes. Ah. Here it is, folks. The candy tobacco itself. Spider snooze. For those who don't know, Spida is the Danish word for scout, and snus is the Danish word for snuff. Yep, scout snuff. Yeah, it's kind of weird. They call it scout snuff instead of something like kid snuff, which <laughs> I guess even they have standards. The packaging itself says Spida set, which means scout set. For those wondering what kind of candy this is, it's, uh, it's actually powdered licorice. Yeah. Now there is something that kind of baffles me about this. Like it shows the ingredients and all that, but then it also says adult licorice, not child licorice. The heck does that mean? Are they saying that there's licorice that's meant for adults and then there's licorice meant for kids? Like, does it mean like how strong it is? Like, eh, yeah. But even so, kids can still buy this stuff, so what's stopping them? And besides, do you really think an adult is gonna go with something like this and not the real stuff? Like, come on. Uh. <coughs> 
<laughs> that was a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So yeah, there it is in its powdery glory. Wonder what it tastes like. Ooh! It's a strong licorice. I guess that's what they meant by adult licorice. They could just say strong licorice, but no, no, no. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed that there is another item in this set, so behold. A licorice lollipop. Yep, a regular licorice flavored lollipop. I've come across a lot of stubborn packaging lately. So basically what you would do is you'd lick this lollipop and stick it in the powder and then just put it in your mouth and enjoy the licorice bombardation. Bombardation? Is that even a real word? Oh, well, according to Urban Dictionary, it is. <laughs> Ain't I a smarty? Yep, just like that. Let's try it out. Mmm, that's strong indeed. Though it is interesting that they included a lollipop in this thing. I guess they really didn't want kids to eat it like this. But like I said earlier, this is a Danish product, so you can't really get it anywhere else but there. Well, maybe some of the neighboring countries have it, but nah, I don't know. Heck, I got mine from a gift shop in a salt museum of all places. But it really makes me wonder, what would happen if they actually sold something like this in America? Do you think parents would go absolutely nuts? I mean, heck, parents got pretty upset when a minion toy from a Happy Meal supposedly said a swear word. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think Americans would be alright with a product like this selling in candy stores? I mean, if they allow candy cigarettes and chocolate cigars, then why not? So this has been an interesting video. I mean, I know the topic itself may not be that pleasant, but I thought I'd still talk about it because, yeah, it just goes to show you how vastly different cultures can be between two countries. I mean, heck, when I grew up in Denmark, kids could buy lottery tickets, children's movies had swearing, you could light up fireworks in your own backyard, and tragic and unhappy endings in fairy tales were commonplace. Yeah, look how I turned out. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Backstage Nonsense. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Boy, that's strong.